And so that's going to be the 14, uh, 14, 266 again. And then we're going to say minus the payments and refundable credits. So now we have credits that are those refundable ones, which means your liability could go below zero and the payments that you make. So let's, let's in our example problem over here, let's, for example, say that we withheld on our taxes. Uh, we already have 12,000. So 12,000. So if I go into the first pay, second page here, there's the withholdings. So I could add another worksheet called uh, payments, right? So we could say, okay, let's go over here and say, we see that in our worksheet. So I'll add another one. And this is going to be our, do, 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 pulling that to the right, our payments and credits. I'm going to make that one blue, right click, formatting it to make it blue. And then I'll select the whole thing again, right click, format, we're going to make it currency, negative numbers bracketed and red, no dollar sign, no decimals. And then OK, home tab, font group, board, bold, hold down control, scroll in. So I'm going to label this one up top. I'm just going to give it a, a, a name, payments and refundable credits, which is going to feed into that line item. So I'm going to make a a little bit larger. And then I'll select from a to C make that a header by going to the home tab fonts group, black and white. And then I'm going to put the most basic kind of payment, which is a W2 W2 with with holding. And so I'm going to make that black and white home tab font group black white now we could have multiple w2s again so you could have a married couple one they could have three jobs each right one two three four five six seven eight right so we'll all put the total down here total w w2 with holding and say this was this was job one twelve thousand twelve thousand and i'm going to sum that up over here equals the sum of this i'll make this my data input selecting this area home tab font group i'll make it borders drop down on the bucket make it blue and so there it is and that's going to give us our i'll put it right down here total uh pay payments and credits and i'll just sum up the outer column there's only one number in it right now but we'll add more to it later and then i go back to my first tab and i'm going to say this is going to feed in from this number right here so there's our there's our twelve thousand. and so then if i go back on over to my tax formula that's going to finally give us equal to to do the tax due or I'm going to put brackets around it refund because a negative number would be a refund it's going to be a positive number in this case so we still owe taxes now note you could also have penalties so we'll talk about you know penalties the software might try to calculate uh, later but that's the general idea so we get to here there's the 12 there's the 2308, uh, and then there's a $43 penalty. So if I put the penalty of 43 of a penalty, penalty, and then say, okay, now it's at this plus that, uh, 2309. So 2309, okay. And let's check the spelling because I think I misspelled that penalty and single i misspelled it uh, okay all right so that's the general outline uh so we're running kind of long so i'll stop it here next time we'll make it a little bit more fancy adding some colors to it uh but that's the and then and then of course as we have more complexity in the return we will add more schedules to the right that will feed into this 
uh, income tax formula.